All right, hey there, guys. Okay, I just wanted to uh, go ahead and do a video of um, the latest update of Jelly Bean on the Galaxy S3. Uh, I'm running CM10 Nightly build uh, August 21, so it's the newest build. Uh, I'll post a link below to uh, to the ROMs page. Uh, I believe this specific build uh, is also available for AT&T and Rogers, um, but uh, you know that's something that you would probably have to check out on XDA. Uh, in any case, uh, this is probably uh, the first time that I've done multiple videos on one ROM, but I just cannot emphasize enough, honestly, I cannot emphasize enough just how... Uh, smooth and just how fluid and just how stable this build of CM10 has been and considering it's still a quote unquote preview build uh, you can you, I mean I didn't expect it to be this stable especially as a daily driver but uh, this specific build and the kernel that I have installed which is a uh, lean kernel go to performance which is a uh, lean kernel 2.1 is blazing Blazing. This thing makes uh, the device blazing fast. Yeah, let me just go ahead and start from scratch. And I'm going ahead and transitioning through screens. And this thing is screaming fast. I mean, there's absolutely not a speck of speck of lag or slowdown there. Um, it's you know, it's, it's very sensitive to your touch. Uh, it's just as sensitive as the Nexus 7 tablet, which is pretty pretty sensitive, but in a better way because there's more optimization uh, on this specific build than the Nexus 7. So, you know, I'll give you guys an example, um, just something as simple as performance. If you hit performance, uh, you can go to processor, you can actually overclock, specifically with this kernel, lean kernel, you can overclock to up to 1.9, uh, 1900 megahertz, 1 1.9 gigahertz dual core processor and this thing on uh, interactive fluctuates between the minimum which is 384 up to 1900 as you see which is the highest uh, frequency per the overclock so it's fast this thing uh, I mean I here let me give you guys an example so we'll go ahead and open the camera cameras open cameras closed we'll go ahead and open the gallery let's go here to DCIM click on a picture you could do that you can pan through all your pics it stops to my immediate touch see that all right so let's go stop here let's maximize it zoom in zoom out you want to delete it you flick up you can undo it if it was an accident bring it back and if I want to exit I push home and I'm home I'm to check my notifications get rid of this notification here go back to settings Head to system and show you view the system option. So you get you know system adjustments such as status bar, power menu, uh, notification drawer, wallpaper, etc. You even get hardware key uh, optimization. So you know quite a few optimizations in the settings because it is CM10. Uh, you know you also get the developer options. Obviously, you uh, you know I don't I haven't had any flickering issues. I've had no call quality issues. I've had no camera issues. I've had no notification issues. I have had no issues whatsoever with the specific build. Um, I'm not sure what the status is on Netflix. I haven't, you know, probably the reason why I haven't downloaded many apps on this because the builds are being updated so quickly that I find myself doing a complete wipe on every upgrade uh, as opposed to doing an upgrade. But this specific build I upgraded from the 820 build because I figured, you know what, um, I'm tired of having to constantly re-download everything, kind of go through that process of setting up my widgets and my home screen. So I said, screw it, I'm going to upgrade. And upgrading from the 820 build has proven actually to be a pretty uh, pretty good idea because it's been running amazingly amazingly well and with this new kernel uh, I've had absolutely no issues with any flickering UI flickering GPU issues whatever the case may be with some people having screen issues I mean I had I didn't have screen issues in the recent with the the previous builds but specifically with this build in this kernel it's been absolutely non-existent uh, so let me show you guys a game we'll go ahead and open Sonic 4 here you can see immediate to my touch. I didn't have to touch anything twice. I tapped on it once, and boom, this thing opened up. So let's go ahead and start Sonic here. And I did a speed comparison between opening up Sonic on this and the Nexus 7. 
Uh, the next is 7 to 1 by a hair, but it's a quad core processor. You have to take that into consideration. And a Tegra 3. Okay, so pretty much quick to open up there. We'll go ahead and just take a look at Sonic here. Runs absolutely fantastic. There's not a second of lag, no lag whatsoever. I mean, it, it's just the graphics on this on this game, on this phone, and just in general. I guess you know the CM build. Again, being a quote unquote preview, you would think that there would be issues with um. No, I'm just gonna pull it out here. You would think there would be issues with uh. The games or sp certain apps actually being compatible with it, but I've had no compatib compatibility issues whatsoever. And here's the multitasking. You can see how quick this is. Again, look at, you know, to see how quick I can close out of this. Here. It's immediate. You know, it's immediate. Everything closes immediately. Um, YouTube is fantastically smooth. YouTube is very smooth. I have absolutely no complaints about this YouTube client. Everything runs fine, everything loads good. You know, I was having issues with, again, the tablet and loading videos, but with this specific device and this specific ROM, I'm having absolutely no issues whatsoever. Um, you, know, you can swipe over to the left, see your subscriptions, go to your channel, etc., to your channel, etc. So, again, YouTube runs great. Google Talk works fine. You can video chat, no problem. Uh, let's X out of that there. X out of that. You know, you get your people contacts. Um, let's see here. You got your contacts. I, I love the color scheme. You got your dialer here, and then you know you swipe. You get your uh, recent calls, and then etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Text messages. Okay, you want to exit of that. And if you want to move around an app, uh, you can move it around as such, or you can place it in a folder. Um, either or works. See, it's in a folder now. I can name the folder or I can take it out of the folder, put it right back where it was. Okay? It's it's and it, it works the same way with widgets. So if I move a widget around, it actually moves it around to whatever location it is that I want to move it to. And it gives you the option to resize it. Um, so you can see if I move that there, I move that there, I move the icons. So I, you know, again, I like that. It's it's adding to the whole uh, GPU experience, the whole UI experience, uh, basically what people have been holding against Android, the detractors have been holding against Android for years now, even though that to me hasn't been a prevalent issue, uh, it's com a completely a moot point now, it's dead, you can't argue that Android lies, but I not, you know, I, this is video proof here, I, I dare someone to come and dispute this, because uh, you don't have an argument, in, in any, you know, I mean, to be quite honest with you, I just don't see the argument for it, because it, I can, comp I can absolutely switch over and use any other OS uh, once I get used to the specific ecosystem. Okay, I have no issues giving props to Windows Phone and to iOS uh, where credit is due. But with that said, uh, you know sometimes you have to think to yourself that it isn't all about perception. That it really is about ecosystem. It really is about being ingrained into a specific system and for me that system just seems to be Android. Uh, it was iOS at one point, it is Windows Phone 7 periodically but in general I always find myself going back to Android and this is the reason why. This is the reason why because they continue to impress us with improvements. Uh, that's why, you know, I've tried to argue this so long that you know iOS for all of its glory has very 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 uh, minimally improved in terms of its OS look in terms of the, you know, the fact that really the changes that they did make were already on Android devices prior to those changes being implemented. And it just doesn't have the same, in my opinion, doesn't have uh, the same value attached to it because we've had those features in, in, in recent memory, in recent past basically, and I, I just don't see a use for it. Uh, Apple Maps being hyped up as much as it is, considering we've had the amazing... Uh, where is Google Maps here? Have I even downloaded Google Maps? See, this is what happens when you when you flash a new build. You forget whether you, no. See, I haven't even I don't even have Maps installed. But everything is here. Everything works. Weather, boom. You touch something, you're there. I go to the browser. I open the browser. I'm there. I want to pinch zoom. Pinch zoom is so smooth. Oh my God! It is such a amazing experience. Uh, if you guys want to see auto rotate here, I don't know if I have auto rotate enabled. I don't. Oh, I do. Okay. So there's auto rotate. 
see it auto rotates all right that's about it uh, other than that you know just wanted to go ahead and showcase this amazing speed of this of this build of uh cm10 on gentlemen for anyone having doubts uh flashing or installing this if you do it the right way you go about it you go about flashing it the right way uh, you're gonna enjoy this wrong all right thank you guys for watching if there's anything you want me to uh emphasize on any questions you have regarding the rom go ahead and ask me and i'll uh try to respond as soon as I can uh, and as thoroughly as I can again I'm using power amp because I like power amp but the thing about power amp is I have the notification if I don't have a notification you just hold volume up and the song changes or volume down alright there you go thank you guys for watching take care have a good day